Welcome to the Made of Savannah podcast. I'm your host, Dee Daniels, and I'm very excited to be talking real estate in this episode. And from Corcoran Austin Hill Realty, real estate agent Brooke Willis is with us on the show today. Brooke, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So this is an interesting time because we're talking about real estate in the beginning of 2023. We're sort of dealing with the conversation that everybody's having, which is, oh my, the interest rates. Mm -hmm. Um, That's the big conversation. Do you think everyone is sort of in a pause mode with real estate right now? I do. I think a lot of people are waiting to see what happens with the interest rates. They have come down a little bit. I think most people are wanting to wait till spring, summer when they take a bigger dip. However, that is not what I advise to do because you can always refinance later. Right now, you're going to have way more inventory to choose from, a lot more leeway to bargain with with the seller in regards to closing costs or, hey, can you buy down my interest rate a little bit Mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So you just have a lot more leeway now to buy that rather than waiting. It's interesting that, you know, I think everybody's kind of, like you said, in in this mode of like, "Mm, we're going to wait. I think because of the fear around the interest rates and whatnot, I think everyone is forgetting about the fact that you can refinance. Like they, Mm -hmm. you know, you bring that up to to people right now that are interested in looking and they're like, oh yeah, that's right. (laughs) It's like a light bulb almost. Yes. It's interesting. Um, So you know, I know you look at the numbers a lot and I know you're looking at this area a lot. And one of like the areas that I know you specialize in is the downtown Savannah area and also the islands. That's very interesting conversation going on as well with inventory. Where do you think we are with inventory right now? Is it, do we have enough? I still think we're relatively low on inventory. Um, just for Wilmington Island, which is situated right in between downtown Savannah and Tybee Island. It's very sought after, and there are 15 total listings for single-family homes. Five of those are above a million. The other 10 are below a million and start at 409. Wow. So you're still relatively on the higher side, and I'm having to find properties that are off market and not being advertised for my clients because there just isn't any inventory for them to choose from. Right. Uh, That's an interesting conversation, too. I think a lot of people don't understand how that works. How do you find properties off market? Is it literally like someone, you know, telling you about a property? (laughs) Yes. So definitely having a realtor that's connected in the area, they're going to know things that realtors who don't work in an area like that they'll know better right um so mine was word of mouth family friends Mm -hmm. also if you're connected with a builder that helps as well right yeah that's a big deal actually Mm -hmm. Uh, that which is another conversation is i mean what are we looking at as far as new construction goes in savannah Is, is it happening is it on is it on pause it's still happening um I'm from Atlanta originally, and my dad's a builder, so it's relatively lower down here from what I'm used to. So, yes, there are things happening here, but it's not a plethora. (laughs) Right. So it's it's not constant, and it's certainly, I think, something that I I think, again, is not on everyone's radar. Mm -hmm. Like, they're like, well, that must not be happening, and supplies are really costly right now. Yes. You know, that's a big deal. What about investment property? Like, uh, you know, that's something that a lot of people are looking at or at least have on their to-do list for the next five years. You know, they're like, I would like to buy investment in Savannah and probably maybe on one of the islands. I'd like to have some sort of water view, water front. Um, is that something that is a good idea beginning of 2023? Is that something people should wait for till later on? If you would like to do an income producing property, which down here in Savannah, it's called an STVR certificate, which is short-term vacation rental, i.e. your uh, Airbnb and VRBO. For downtown Savannah, there is a cap. So only a certain percentage of the homes in downtown Savannah can be STVR certificate active. And right now that cap has been met and there's a wait list. 
that wait list is very long. So if that's that is, going to be my next question. <laughs> How long is the wait list? It's you're going to be waiting quite a few years to say mm. the least. Um, so if you are coming down here to look for an income producing property, you will need to be purchasing one that already has an active certificate. And because they are so sought after, the prices are going to be higher for properties like that. And the same goes for Tybee Island. Um, they do have a cap. They aren't giving out anymore currently. There's a lot of buzz going around about that as yeah, well. A, a, lot lot. Of, a lot of things happening in Tybee. That's a whole separate conversation. Yes, but it's um, crazy, like, what's been happening. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty wild out there. Mm-hmm. But uh, Wilmington Island and Whitmarsh Island, which are located... In between downtown Savannah and Tybee, there is no cap for those um, two islands. So if you do still want to have income producing and have that water view and maybe not pay as much of a premium, that's probably a, a safe space to look um, and try to find something there. And by the way, for people that are interested in investment property, that is not like a shabby place to look. Oh, no. I mean, when you when, <laughs> if, if you look at it on the map and like really detail and zoom in you're gonna see so much water between downtown and Tybee like Mm -hmm. there's so much availability as far as you know great views and you know just a really good like water living lifestyle that I think it's just not on everyone's radar so they don't look there first because of course people think oceanfront and of course people think downtown right Mm -hmm. But the in-between the, is just unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's actually my favorite place in Savannah. Um, you still have, it's like marsh view. You mm-hmm. can still have a dock. You can still like, if, if you're deep water access, you can have a boat or a boat lift. There's plenty of marinas that you can store your boat at. You can throw a kayak in, a paddleboard. Um, you have all that water recreation, same as you would on Tybee. And it's just not as expensive. Right, right. Yeah, which may be a much better option, especially right now. So you were talking earlier about the leverage process and how that might look a little bit better right now for Mm -hmm. buyers. Wow, what a different world that is now than it was, you know, a year or two ago where, like, everything was just flying off and sellers had all all the leverage power. So you think it's really flip-flopped completely now, right? Right now, it the buyers do have the upper hand in a sense. Um, as we move closer to springtime, March, April, that's going to dwindle down. Uh, you can definitely say, hey, do you mind you know, lowering your cost by 10, 15 grand and can you throw five grand in at closing? And that automatically will save you $20,000. Right. And although the interest rate may be a little higher now, you still have 20 grand less you're dishing out, but you can refinance later. Right, right. Which is a huge deal, especially for people who are, you know, maybe strapped a little in the budget and, Mm -hmm. you know, but they still have to move. You know, I mean, that's the thing. Like people still have to have movement in their life, you know, Mm -hmm. whether it's for a job or whatever's going on. So I think it's important, you know, for them to realize, and I know this is a conversation you're having a lot, is that, you know, the buyer has a lot of room to have a a whole conversation. And a lot of that will be with the lender, right? And a lot of that will be with, you know, how can we make all of this move. It's, it's very interesting. I think it's very scary for a lot of people Mm -hmm. because they're like, Oh my goodness, I didn't realize everything was so adjustable, but a lot of things are, especially in this kind of market. Mm -hmm. Always, always consult your local lender, but your lender can come up with a lot of creative financing options Mm -hmm. and getting a lower price now. Also that's less earnest money. You have to dish out less money. You've got to have up front. So you definitely have the upper hand, a lot more power, a lot more bargaining tools, and you're going to have a wider inventory to choose from at this moment. And you won't be going into bidding wars or having to put in these escalation clauses and paying way above market value. That totally makes sense. And I feel like a lot of people 
might feel some relief, you know, because of that, especially at this time when there's a little bit of fear, I think, mm -hmm. around the whole conversation. All right, so I'm going to jump to your two favorite places downtown. Let's go there first. <laughs> what do you think is happening price-wise downtown? Is, is that going up? Are we, like, neutralizing? Depending on the type of property you're looking for, because... There's townhomes, there's single family homes, there's condos, there's so many different types of property down here. And then you throw in the aspect of, is it short-term vacation rental mm. certificate approved? Right. So it definitely changes right. the budgets and right. whatnot. Um, for your, you know, standard single family home, I think things have kind of neutralized. You're not seeing these crazy uptick in prices mm -hmm. like you did last spring and summer. Um, now, it's a little bit different for STBR certificates. Right. That's like <laughs> but, basically having a gold staircase yes. in your house. Like it's, like, it's like, oh, I found diamonds, and it's underneath the house. That's, yeah. it's, it's a whole different price range. You're, you're not even in the same ballpark, I yeah. feel like, with that. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right, let's jump back out to the islands. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how affordable, and I use that word obviously very objectively, mm -hmm. but... Uh, how much house you can get on the islands and how much water view you can get, how much for your money. Mm -hmm. And do you think that's still happening currently this year? Yes. Um, now you throw in, Hey, I got a deep water dock. That's a different conversation. Yeah, whole different conversation. Gold staircase in your house. <laughs> diamonds yes. underneath. Yes. <laughs> um, but a lot of the island, you will be able to have a view of water, whether it be, you know, being able to see a, sh a huge container ship coming in mm -hmm. or just having that pretty marsh view and a sunset. Right. You you will be able to have that. It's definitely attainable. It's not going to be something that's out of reach. Yeah. And I think so many people are surprised by that, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Um, I was surprised by it when, <laughs> when we were making the move. I was like, wait, we can live where? I mean, yeah. you know, when we were looking at, at, at water view and, and marsh and, and okay, we can live on one of the islands. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I live on an island for the first time in my life. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it feels, it feels attainable, like you said. Yes. And I think a lot of people are, are really surprised by that. Well, you can obviously get in touch with Brooke. She will answer all of your real estate questions on Instagram, Brooke Willis Real Estate. That's Brooke with an E because you're not a body of water. Is that... Correct. Okay. I'm not a stream of water. <laughs> so it's Brooke Willis Real Estate uh, if you want to get in touch with her and, and ask her all the questions. I just have two more questions. So back to your favorite spots, downtown and the islands. If you have to pick one place to eat in both. So Ooh. downtown place, you have to. This is like, I, we're, this is where we're going. Okay. Well, recently for downtown, I really like Arco. Mm, me too. Yeah. Oh, I so love good. Arco. Um, they are new on Bay Street, mm -hmm. and you'll see them. They're Arco because of all the arches and the windows and in the interior design. It's absolutely gorgeous, and they do have a small little patio for a table of two where you can sit outside and see the river and all yeah. the ships come in. It's beautiful. Um, and they have the best espresso martini. <laughs> really? Yeah. Interesting. Um, I do love a good espresso martini, so I'm going to have to try that. And, okay, so on the islands, you have to go somewhere. You're picking somewhere. It's your, your favorite spot right now. It is... Okay, so this is a secret. Mm. The locals might not like me to reveal uh -oh. this, but I'm it's called this. the Steakhouse on Whitmarsh Island. Oh. And I'm sure plenty of people drive by it and don't pay it much attention because it kind of does look like a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. But it's next to a Five Guys, and I mean the steak there is phenomenal. Mm. Um, the drinks are great as well. Nice, nice. <laughs> but it you really have to make a reservation way in advance. If you don't have a reservation, don't even bother walking in there because don't they even will try. not. Have room for you. Okay. It is always packed. Good to know. Very <laughs> good to know. Um, I'm writing all that down, and uh, hopefully we're not going to get in trouble with anybody for mentioning the steakhouse. Um, if that was a secret <laughs> to Savannians, I apologize. <laughs> um, you can get in touch with Brooke on Instagram, Brooke Willis Real Estate. Brooke, thank you so much. Uh, I think it's going to be a good year for real estate, even though it's a, it's a heavy conversation around a lot of the topics. I think there's a lot of opportunity, and I think there it's going to be a good year. Yep, I agree. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me.
We'd love for you to share this podcast with someone you love or even someone you don't love. You never know, it could mend a fence. Make sure to follow the Made Up Savannah podcast so it's always in your podcast feed. And you can follow along with what we're doing on Instagram at Made of Savannah on Instagram. If you're moving to Savannah for the first time or just moving around town, it's a big deal. And it's always easier to work with someone who knows that. Or gosh, better yet, a whole team who knows it. That's McManamy, Jackson, and Hollis, real estate experts who know the stakes and believe wholeheartedly that every client is more than just a transaction. A real estate lawyer can help you avoid some serious issues with your big deal, residential, commercial, corporate, even title insurance. McManamy, Jackson, and Hollis, 415 Eisenhower Drive and mjhfirm.com. That's mjhfirm.com. The Made Up Savannah podcast is also brought to you by First Coast Mortgage. Michael Caputo and the team at First Coast Mortgage love seeing new people discover Savannah and choose to move here. And they've seen a lot of that as a local lender for the last 30 years. At First Coast Mortgage, they are the guide and the clients are the heroes in the home buying story. The home buying process can be confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Getting a solid buying plan in place is the best way to lower the stress involved with getting a home. And starting that planning process early is the best path for most borrowers. Find out how they can simplify the buying process and get pre-approved at firstcoastmortgage.com. First Coast Mortgage, helping you make good decisions so you can love where you live. Thanks to our sponsor, Spectrum Printing and Marketing. Kim Bullock and Michelle Thompson have over 35 years of experience as a locally owned family business. Spectrum specializes in you. Marketing solutions, increasing your brand recognition, they are the number one source for all of your printing, promotional products, and even custom apparel. They pride themselves in providing the elite customer service care you deserve. And they prove it too by connecting you with a person who is ready and happy to serve you whenever you call. Feel free to pick up the phone, email them, or connect on social media. They would love to talk to you. 912-897-7228. 912-897-7228. You can email Kim at SpectrumSAV.com. That's Kim at SpectrumSAV.com. Spectrum Printing and Marketing. They specialize in you. And of course, when you're searching for dedicated, experienced real estate agents, homes for sale, or homes for rent, check us out at Corcoran Austin Hill Realty, 251 Bull Street in Savannah, and CorcoranAHR.com. That's CorcoranAHR.com. Thanks for listening to Made of Savannah. The welcome mat is always out.